boys and girls. It's Miss S here. How are you today? Good. I am so happy to see you. Very happy. All right, today we are gonna read a fun story today. Today's story is called Giraffes Can't Dance. And if you know Miss S by now, you know that can't is not a word that I use and it's not a word that you use about yourself because we can do whatever we put our minds to, right? If we think about it and we practice, we can achieve it, we can do it. But today in the story we're gonna read, Gerard, he doubts himself. And when we say the word doubt, that means that we don't think that we can do something. So we're gonna read a fun story and then we're gonna come back. We're gonna talk about, I'm gonna ask you, what did you learn? And you're gonna be able to tell me something you learned and then I have a real special treat for you. It has to do with dancing. One of my favorite things, dancing. All right, who's ready? Great, I see some hands and I see some people are ready. Giraffes can't dance, here we go. Whoop, just one second. Who's ready? Here we go. Giraffes can't dance. Gerald was a tall giraffe whose neck was long and slim. But his knees were awfully crooked and his legs were rather thin. He was very good at standing still and munching shoots off trees. But when he tried to run around, he buckled at the knees. Now every year in Africa, they hold the jungle dance, where every single animal turns up to skip and prance. And this year, when the day arrived, poor Joe felt so sad. Because when it came to dancing, he was really very bad. The warthog started waltzing. And the rhinos rock and roll. The lions danced a tango that was elegant and bold. The chimps all did a cha-cha with a very Latin feel. And eight baboons then teamed up for a splendid Scottish reel. Gerald swallowed gravely as he walked toward the floor. But the lions saw him coming and they soon began to roar. Hey, look at clumsy Gerald! The animals all sneered. Giraffes can't dance, you silly fool. Oh, Gerald, you're so weird. Gerald simply froze up. He was rooted to the spot. They're right, he thought. I'm useless. Oh, I feel like such a clot. So he crept off from the dance floor and he started walking home. He'd never felt so sad before. So sad and so alone. Then he found a little clearing. And he looked up at the sky. 
The moon can be so beautiful, he whispered with a sigh. Excuse me, coughed a cricket who'd seen Gerald earlier on. But sometimes when you're different, you just need a different song. Listen to the swaying grass, then listen to the trees. To me, the sweetest music is those branches in the breeze. So imagine that the lovely moon is playing just for you. Everything makes music if you really wanted to. With that, the cricket smiled and picked up his violin. And Gerald felt his body do the most amazing thing. His hooves had started shuffling, making circles on the ground. His neck was gently swaying, and his tail was swishing round. He threw his legs out sideways, and he swung them everywhere. Then he did a backward somersault and leapt up in the air. Gerald felt so wonderful. His mouth was open wide. I am dancing, yes, I'm dancing. I am dancing, Gerald cried. <laughs> then one by one, each animal who'd been there at the dance arrived while Gerald boogied on and watched him quite entranced. They shouted, it's a miracle. We must be in a dream. Gerald's the best dancer that we've ever, ever seen. How did you learn to dance like that? Please, Gerald, tell us how. But Gerald simply twirled around and finished with a bow. Then he raised his head and looked up at the moon and stars above. We all can dance, he said, when we find music that we love. So that was the end of Giraffe Can't Dance. Give me a thumbs up if you liked it. Thumbs down if you didn't like it. So, so, hmm. Now it's my turn to ask you, hmm, what's something you learned? Something that you learned. And we're gonna use the sentence frame, I learned blank. What did you learn? Hmm, thinking about it, you can talk to somebody about it. Now, just to recap, in the story we read today, Gerald doubts himself and must overcome that doubt by doing things his own way. The best part of the story comes from the awesome dance moves. So now I want you to go through the text, think about which animal hmm, and music vibes like you. What dance did you like? What animal did you feel like you might share something that is the same? And here's the assignment today. You're gonna dance today to showcase your skills because we can all dance. We can all do anything we put our mind to, but it might look a little bit different than somebody else. So I want to see those dance moves so here's what we're gonna do. I know that the big, big, big dance move right now is the floss, right? Some of you have been flossing. So I pulled up a quick video here and let's see. Hmm, let's take a look at this floss video. <laughs> Stand up. Everybody 
Everybody spread your feet. Keep your arms straight, your hands and fists, and a little bend your knees. Slide your hips out to the left and to the right. Swing your arms straight together, side to side. Do the fast dance. Everybody's doing it now. Do the fast dance. Just get on up and get on down. Do the fast dance. All the world's having fun. Do the fast dance. Do it, everyone. Fast, fast, fast. Fast, fast, fast. Fast, fast, fast. Everybody's doing it now. Do the fast dance. Just get on up and get on down. Do the fast dance. All the world is having fun. Do the fast dance. Do it, everyone. Everybody stand up. Everybody spread your feet. Keep your arms straight, your hands and fists, and a little bend your knees. Slide your hips out to the left and to the right. Swing your arms straight together, side to side. Do the fast dance. Everybody's doing it now. Do the fast dance. Just get on up and get on down. Do the fast dance. All the world is having fun. Do the fast dance. Do it, everyone. Dance by yourself or with your friends. You can do it if you think you can. Feel the beat, get in the groove. A fast dance is really cool. Fast, fast, fast. Move your body. Fast, fast, fast. Everybody. Fast, fast, fast. Move your body. Do it with fast dance. Children, teens, and teachers do it. If you're afraid, just work right through it. If you want to learn and don't know how, just ask a kid. They'll show you how. Good job. Let's be. All right, that was the floss dance. So that's just one type of dance. And I know all of you know how to do it. I would love to see you floss or for you to show me your best moves, your best dance, your favorite dance, whatever it is. You can email it to me. You can drop it in the comments. You can take a picture of it, you can send it to me. But let's see some of those moves. So today's homework is tell me something that you learned. Tell somebody next to you at home. Tell them about the story. And repeat after me. I can do anything. I put my mind to. Very good. And that's the takeaway of the story, okay? We're not all the same. We're all different. Our dance moves might look a little bit different, but we can still dance, okay? That's what makes us unique. And when we believe in ourselves, we can do anything, okay? So the rest of today, the rest of the week, whenever you're watching this video, I want you to dance your heart out, okay? Practice the floss, practice another dance, maybe you like some disco, Maybe you like the Macarena, okay? Any dance, practice it, have fun with it. Ask someone at home, hey, let's have a dance party and be like Gerald. Let your light shine. Be brave, be strong, and remember you can do whatever you want. So today we had fun learning about a new dance. It's not really new to a lot of you, but I would love to see your dance moves. So go ahead and take a picture, drop a video. I wanna see your dance moves and tell somebody about the story today. I hope you had fun talking about dance and giraffes can't dance because next time you go to the zoo, really pay attention and look and you might see them do a little skip, a little hop or a dance because giraffes can dance. We can do whatever we put our mind to. All right, have a great day. Bye.